Hello, in this video we're going to look at how to take derivatives of natural exponential functions. Let's take the following natural exponential function, y equals e raised to the g of x function, where Euler's number e is approximated by the following constant. The derivative of the natural exponential function then is going to be given as follows. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take the derivative of the exponent and we're going to put that down in front and then we're going to simply multiply it by the original function. So once again the derivative equals the original function multiplied by the derivative of the exponent. Let's do some examples. Example 1, y equals e raised to the 2x power. The derivative of this, again here's our rule, the derivative of the exponent is going to just be 2 and then we're going to multiply it by the original function. The derivative of 2x is 2, and that's multiplied by the original function e raised to the 2x power. Example 2, y equals e raised to the power of x. The derivative of x is just 1, and then that's going to be multiplied by e raised to the power of x. And so that's our result. Example 3, the derivative of 4x is 4, and that's multiplied by the original function. And we can simplify this a little bit. 4 times 20 is 80, and we're left with this result. Example 4, the derivative of 10 minus 2x is minus 2. So that minus 2 comes down in front, and then that's multiplied by the original function. And we can simplify by taking minus 2, multiplying it by 3, to get this minus 6. Example 5, the derivative of 3x plus 1 is 3, and that is multiplied by original function, and that is our derivative. Example 6, the derivative of a minus 1 fourth x is minus 1 fourth. That's brought down in front, and then multiplied by, again, the original natural exponential function. Example 7, here we got y equals e raised to the 2x squared power. The derivative of 2x squared is 4x, so the 4x comes down in front, and then multiply it by the original function, and we're done. Example 8, y equals 3e raised to the x squared power. The derivative of x squared is 2x. Bring that down in front, and then we can take this 2x and multiply it by 3 to get 6x, all multiplied by the original function. Number nine, a little bit more complicated here. Uh, we're gonna use the product rule. I'm gonna first take the derivative of 10x, and that's 10. So that's gonna be 10 times e raised to the power of 5x. And the next thing I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna concentrate on e raised to the 5x power. And the derivative of 5x is just five, so that comes down in front and we have this result here. We can simplify that a little bit. Five times 10 gives us 50. And finally, number 10 here. Uh, what is the slope of the function at x equals 100? So to find that, we're gonna take the derivative. A derivative is a slope function. And now evaluating that derivative where x equals 100, plugging 100 into that function and simplifying we get a little over 2,200 as the slope when x equals 100. Okay, that's it.